Calculating became much easier after the invention of digits. Digits are the ten symbols we use with a place value system to write all numbers. Digits include zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. With these ten digits and a place value system, we will be able to read and write all numbers. The first numbers we are going to read are whole numbers. Whole numbers are the set of all counting numbers, including zero. How do we read a whole number? Let me show you. To read a whole number, first you will read the number in each period, then name the period it is in. Here on our place value chart, we have the first three periods the ones, the thousands, and the millions. Each period is separated into three columns. The ones, the tens, and the hundreds make up the ones period. The thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands make up the thousands period. The millions, the ten millions, and the hundred millions make up the millions period. Let us begin with a number that is three digits long. The number 325. If we were to write a larger number, we could put some digits in the thousands period. This number would be read 41,000 325. Let's write an even larger number by putting some digits in the millions period. This number would be read 495 million 41,325. Okay. It is time to read a few whole numbers on your own. Press pause and read the numbers under the place value chart. When you are ready to check your work, press play and I will give you the answers. Remember, read the number in each period, then name the period it is in. Press pause now. Welcome back. Here are the answers. 78,062,344 Good work! Now that you can read a whole number using place value, you can just as easily write the numbers. Press pause and write the numbers under the place value chart. When you are ready to check your work, press play and I will reveal the answers. Remember, write the number in each period, then write the period it is in. Press pause now. Welcome back. Here are the answers. 78,062,344 Good work. I hope you have done well. If you would like more practice on this topic, please return to Moodle 
and click on the practice sheet included with this lesson. Goodbye for now.